there is a I would say a trend of improvement that started two weeks ago that keeps going. I think that the players we did a good job at identifying what we needed to work on. Well, it feels good that we have a chance to make playoffs <laughs> for the first time. I think that the players started working the way they should in terms of attitude. I think that did something clicked in. It's like I think that's very important for the player to know that they can. What I've seen in like their body language, the way they, they play, the way they feedback, the way they talk to each other. You, you know when a, when a player is going to say, oh yeah, but there is a yeah, whatever, and there is the, oh, okay, I understand, I'm going to integrate this piece into my game, right? I'm going to assemble this puzzle, and this mistake will not be done because I understand the core reason of it. It takes more commitment than just saying yes, right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you can get your your yeah, e off, but well, if you have it on, you will trade it. Like, you know how I was saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, you see, uh, this is mine. Yeah. How I played it against it. Like... Feeling a lot better, a lot better than than usual. I think that uh, I think that the training that we've had this week has been pretty good, and yeah, I'm feeling really confident this week. Just be like this, okay? And what you're going to do is, okay? Okay. No, you're going to slide this one. And lift this one, okay? So, split, group, split, group, split, group. Get in the car. Get in the car. Play so late today. Like late? time, time. Like now it's 5 30. Mm -hmm. It's yes. gonna be like. What's happened, by the way? Because the games are so long. So long. Oh, yeah. right. Or, or, and there was a delay. Mm -hmm. I think in Champions Select they picked mm -hmm. the wrong thing, but they couldn't get out. I don't know why. Did you, uh, Eric, you played when it's best of three, right? Yeah, yeah. The games are so fucking long, bro. <laughs> I remember one night I went home at 11:30. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, time okay. for sleep. Guess I can't do anything. And, before. and one like some, in certain meta there was a Zix Jaros meta. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. And Junior always play GX, Jarrah, yeah. mid, and oh. I feel okay, pretty, you know, when you're facing the best team, it's always an upset, so I feel that the pressure is less, like, I feel less pressure than other games, and I think that we, we are well prepared, so, yeah, I think it's going to be a very good game, to be honest. You heard it first here, Toby, we're going to slam Team Liquid. I mean, I definitely thought we could win, <coughs> but... We lose. Right, let's jump into the squads facing off on the blue side. It is Team Liquid. Team Liquid who have continued to dominate the league despite one blemish on the record. And choosing red side for this bout, it's Optic Gaming. Last time these teams faced off, there was a focus pointed at Jensen versus Crown where Optic can't mid to seemingly no avail. I hate that character. <laughs> I can't stand Which is weird because you like fighting games, so Riven's literally a fighting game character. I can't stand Riven. Imagine Alorum just one trick Riven. Kieran, I was hypothesizing, I think, you busy your fingers too much with your map movement thing. I don't know, man. I think there are 80 carriers who play with uh, my key bindings too. Really? Stick State plays with my key bindings. I think it's just what I'm used to, man. Uh, I play a tank in WoW. What can I say? I play a tank in WoW. Or I play tank up until recently. I play here. I play Resto Shaman now. That's where Alorum comes from, man. My Torin warrior. Don't you? <laughs> I see you. As soon as I open up my mouth, as soon as I open up my mouth, I see another core of my Toby's just got the camera on me. Dude, you're the content fucking man. All right, we'll, we'll see what happens here. TL and Optic, our final game of the day. That's certainly one that could be filled with fireworks. Push the crowd the other way. Oh, oh, battle is beginning. Crown. Actually, Meteos is going to have a really good time here. Yeah, his crown dipping in. As Smithy getting out of there, already had to burn the flash. Now the bubble oh. through the terrain. One drowsy yeah. boy and a dust free against Meteos. First blood. Core JJ with the roam will get the counter kill. Oh, well, against Liquid, it's definitely going to be a hard game. Obviously, they're probably the best team right now in NA. The other blue buff. Oh, oh, how dare does you? Go in. Big also in there with the pulverized damage. is almost enough with, after the stop blood for the Smithy. Does get out safely, Cordo J gets big. He is now Impact joining the fight. Meteos is going to be down for the count as Jensen takes him out. And Dokla late, Ulti's flashes away, and that's all she wrote for Optic on that fight. Yeah, that was a fight that Optic opted into. They went, all right, let's have the ultimate from Meteos come in, the first one of the game. He goes in, doesn't do anything for him. He gets in, the redemption at Crown is holding, doesn't come down at all. And then everybody from TL is able to clump up, and they get the TPs off too. We're lost in that fight. Oh, 
Now the Calhoun gonna charge in. Dokla, I think, dodged the knockoff, yeah. but still gonna get taunted. Slick moves with double himself. He's gonna add it in, and TL Impact able to grab the kill. So this doesn't feel like this one is one of either. His big is so far out of position. Gets taunted, he's gonna get poked down, and he's dead. What was he doing? I did not really digest this, this, this loss because I think that we make some critical mistakes uh, in terms of like draft and I'm, I really hate to, not, not giving my player the chance to play the game. I feel like it's, uh, it's really a bad hurt for me. Out of ring, Xmithy also looking to dive in onto Crown. Goes drowsy, flush and cleanse up for Crown, but Jensen dives in, he wants the kill, he will collect it. And now it's just the whole game falling apart for Optic. W, he flashed. Oh, oh, doesn't need it, <laughs> double lift there. Crown does make Jensen drowsy. They'll dive back in. They will get a good shutdown. Meteos collects 800 gold. No, it just happened. I can say it just happened. Like, first Ocean Dragon and they come in blue and they got our blue. Good. Are aware that. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. They're going to try for something. Lights out. They can't get back in. TL pull out. They don't want to force any sort of risky 50-50 impact, impact with a massive flag. Fires Crown destroys him with the Tempest. And now the Galio ult roams in. Meteor's going to lose his GA. Dokla going to lose his life to Jensen. No, it's Smithy finding there with a Q. Meteor's the next to fall on Team Liquid. Just smash Optic in that team fight. And it wasn't very fair, to be honest. Man, we talked about at the start where it was like, Impact, you expected him to be on the Maokai, not on the Cannon. I think our draft which flipped on the stage. We weren't expecting to pick Maokai, but I think the, the comp was fine. It's just, they just played really well, right? It's like really hard. Kill over the double if this time around. It might be something they can get. They want to try and get at least one kill, but Team Liquid deny everything as double if he does not die before the Nexus falls. He's like, kill it, kill it. Make sure he doesn't drop down. And a great finishing touch there from Team Liquid. A 27 minute game. No mercy from Team Liquid today. So yes, I should have banned LeBlanc, and I take responsibility because we should have made cryo, and then our comp makes sense. Here, it doesn't make sense. Javan pressure severe. If Sierra doesn't have flash, they have the whole map from both sides. Top side, we have a Maokai, so we can play on Maokai side, uh, on Kennen side and try to finish the Kennen, but still lose the lane, so it's pretty hard because you can always make a slow push in this very spooky fight. And mid lane, we lose 2v2, so we, we cannot play the game. It's just give me, give me feedback during the draft, right? Like, if you pick a champion and there is an obvious counter, that you can't play against was very hard. Like LeBlanc, tell me Minho. It's important for me. He got cheer and I got assist. It's okay, but they got they get Ocean, Ocean Dragon yeah. and they control blue. Yeah. And yeah, like they over. were for me it feels pretty bad. Is like when we first time champs on stage, like we literally didn't play a game with Maokai. Yeah. And we whipped it out. Like I think going Vlad there would have been a lot better because like we were saying before, he beats Kennen inside. You guys are like one win away from being like fourth place. Like, yeah, I know, are, I know. You guys are tired. No, no, we just, just we just need to win tomorrow. Yeah. Once again, this this game feels horrible, and I understand. It feels horrible for everybody. I think it's important to move on, right? At least we showed that we are not we are on par with the rest of the LCS, and I think that's at least with all the things that happened during this split, the fact that Arrow arrived in week three and things like that, at least. I think it's, it can be considered a success. No matter what will be the odds at the end of the, year, the split, whether we make playoff or we make 10th, I think that the outcome of this is just last year with just a roster, uh, we went 5-13 and we already five wins, so we cannot be worse than the previous spring split. And we had a lot of like problems on the way. So yeah, I'd say it's more positive than negative today. I would say if, from 1 to 10, I, I would rate it uh, probably a 6.5. Well, it feels good that we have a chance to make the loss for the first time. We have a better chance for the first time. I like the 990. I said that at LCS, I was like, hey, wouldn't it be funny if we have 990 again, guys, and not make the loss? I think everyone was real tired of my shit. After that. Can you do your, do your best low tier god impression? <laughs> Tell me. I won't come in here and fuck up my stream. <laughs> <laughs> that was voice is so great. Get that ass man. Get that ass man. We played five quests, you know. I I actually thought they were second place, but when they were like fifth place, I was like, wow. I guess we have a ch better chance to win now. No fucking way. He's playing as Rimmon if it's not.
Uh, yeah, we didn't really know what the best one, two, three bands or like how the draft would play out. The best scenario for us, like we were going through scenarios and then... And when? Just bottling it. What's the issue? We played like, the scenario out and then we came uh, back and we're like, wait, did we miss something? Or was like, was the draft bad? Is it bad? We went back and tried to fix it and then see what, 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 what the holes were in the comp and stuff like that. So yeah, it was hectic. The Zoe situation was like the biggest one. Like, are we taking Zoe or giving Zoe? And then if Zoe's open, like, what do we take? Like, how's it going to play out? Do we really want this? So I do not think it's a good idea. I ban Ada Nocturne, Ada Zoe. If I ban Zoe, I have a yeah, skill. Yeah. Oh, the C9 game just ended abruptly with C9 winning. Looky here, y'all have returned and just in time for game number five. It's FlyQuest going up against Optic Gaming. You heard from Wild Turtle, so let's go ahead and jump right into the starting rosters. That's, I, I want you to have a very clear game plan on what is their play style. It's not win condition, it's their general play style. That's how they play most of their games. You can abuse this by doing something that you're good at that prevents them from doing what they're good at. And this is how you make them uncomfortable. And from this, they're going to make mistakes. On the blue side, it's Optic Gaming. And selecting the red side for this matchup, it is FlyQuest. But for the rest of this year, this has been a consistent team. Pull them, make the TP play, convert, pull the trigger, trust yourself. You are a fucking great team. You lost yesterday, and you knew why, why you were playing. That's the sign that you understand the game. Both these teams, considering they're currently one game apart, are part of that big clump there in the middle that is all trying to vie for those lower end playoff spots, fourth, fifth, and sixth. It means the wins are that much more important. In terms of mental, I enjoy your game. Have fun. This is the best way to just forget the stake, think about like your option, what you want to do, and make this flashy point. Time is precious. So let's get this one started. Optic versus FlyQuest. Last game of the weekend. FlyQuest, first trick of the game, nine and a half minutes in. Will be Cloud. There comes JJ going in, looking to bring the pain to Big once more. Centaurin coming in, breaks down the Cataclysm Turtle, looking to follow this one up. They will be able to find the kill first and foremost. Heroic interest trying to keep him alive, but it's still going to be a one for one. Arrow grab the kill down onto Santorin now, looking to follow it up even further. Turtle has no mana to go, tries to flash away, will do so. JJ's in some trouble, the bomb is going to blow, and Arrow grabs himself his second kill. And that is a two for one for Optic here. Oh, go into the enemy jungle instead. Santorin goes in, able to find the duck. Here comes the heroic entrance, but it's not going to find a lot of any. Anything. Po belts are thrown up into the air. Here comes Doakla. Could be a big slicing mail from onto multiple people. Optic still looking to turn this fight around their way. Doakla's finding the kill onto JJ Santorin now looking to find someone. Doakla has fallen. You've still got Arrow alive in the back. Crown goes into the res, but Viper's doing damage. The rise goes forward. Chain machine gun all those spells together. But Arrow's got a machine gun of his own. Wild Turtle having to run himself back, but instead he's going to return some pain back. Oh my lines. god! Kill with the bomb into the stage is getting the double under Wild Turtle and FlyQuest. They kill four, they lose three. It's a bloodbath, Kobe. We have to make them fight us Flash at our strongest. Is. Can Santorin go into the pit and make this happen over the wall? He goes, has 6,000 HP. Baron's down to 2k. Heroic entrance coming in. Turret destroyed at the bottom side at the same time. Arrow goes over the wall looking to find the damage of the Santorin. Baron's now gonna be takeable. They got it for free. Can they get back into the base now before the inhibitor falls? Viper putting the work in onto this one. Redemption is not going to stop all the backs, but it will cause enough time to be wasted and allow FlyQuest to make the trade. One and two for the Baron. Arrows fast. He's looking for damage. He's stunned up. He's going to be taken down if he's not careful. Big saves him. However, oh, the turtle! Turtle! that wild turtle goes wild, man. Viper's made his way into the base now. Santorin trying to get out. They're he's going to be taken very back. low. TP coming in. Crown's made his way back to the base now to try to stop this. Viper stands alone, oh. and he stands in the enemy base to try to do it. He only has one chance. That chance is to go for the base race, but a quick win says no thank you. And Optic Gaming, after a 45-minute battle, will make the club that much closer. They will tie things up with FlyQuest in the standings, and they will take down the Nexus. I think I'm excited for, for like the first time since, well I guess second time, since I might actually make playoffs for the first time in my career and you know have a, a, a chance to actually make it to the finals. I get kind of scared and nervous that maybe 
I'm gonna pull, do the same thing as last year, you know, like pull out a zillion and just lose it again for us. Just fuck up our last chance of making playoffs. Our team is, it's very hard to describe a team that has five weeks. I think that our team is, is sitting on a huge potential. Our team is uh, talented because I think that the team has a very huge pool of raw talent. But on the other hand, I think that we, yes, we are still looking for I our identity, the way we want to play yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. Give a credit, whether yeah. it's good or bad. Making, because, making bad. You know, so, yeah. I, I, I was caster. Mm -hmm. uh, you know caster? Yeah. yeah, I know. I was caster for years and years. People hated me for many years. Mm -hmm. So it took me years, like four years maybe, to actually accept that whenever I open Twitter, I have people that tell me to kill myself every day. Yeah. And then, no, I'm whatever happens, right? But it takes a lot of time. Well, when I first played with the uh, Shroggen, every time I lose, you know, it's always like, oh man, big really sucks or stuff like that. Same for like going on forward ever since that time. It's always like negative things about me. So I literally just read it and I'm just like, ha. Everyone's going to have an opinion, right? And then it won't be right. Like, And people, the problem is people have their lives and then they connect on the internet and it's the place they vent. But you can vent in various ways, right? You can go on YouTube and watch a video of things you like, but you can as well give shit to people. We all like to mock something or somehow or bad play. Whether it's a League of Legends player, whether it's a caster, whether it's someone falling from underground in the street just film on YouTube, everybody likes to give shit. There is always a way to talk shit. Oh no, I really don't care about it. Like, I read it regardless. Even when people, like, even when I went 1 in 17 in LCS, I set kept reading it, but eventually I just got bored and I'm like, well, nothing's really changing, it's all the same thing, like it's people started being like big if true, kind of replacement thing. The only thing I care about is if a player come and tell me, Zab, you're not doing your job, or I don't think you're doing it the right way, or if Keaton comes to me and say this is bad, or if my management comes, or if anyone I care about comes and says, Zab, you're compliant, you're not doing it, you're not nailing it, you can do better. I take it extremely seriously because these people care about me. I think what my teammates say is more valuable than what anyone says, yeah.